All right, guys, it's time for another episode of Shopping with Peg. And this time, we're going to be talking about the way of the future. 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 Okay, maybe not that crazy. But the way of the future that I see it as far as vaping goes is going to be this company, UD Technology. It is pronounced UD, okay? It's not Yaud, it's not like whatever the fuck you've heard of before, okay? If it, we had to pronounce everything correctly over here, there's a photo. It says, Zuhai You De Ke Ji You Xian Gong Si. That translates to Zuhai, which is where they're from, You De, which is how you pronounce UD, and then Technology Limited Company. Other way around. Okay, so what's the big deal about these guys? These guys are awesome. Okay, um, let's get some inevitables out of the way. Okay, um, certain things with different kinds of um, you know lines of things. Uh, for instance, you know different markets, different fields. Things are going to stars are going to line up the way they're going to line up. You know what I mean? For instance, right? <clears throat> a couple of uh, websites that I like to talk to you guys about is what, like, other than Fast Tech, I like to steer you guys towards Got Smoke, right? But why, why Got Smoke? Because Got Smoke is the most organized, biggest, started first deal. Uh, website regarding, uh, you know, coupons and, and weekly deals and, and basically, you know, different kinds of news regarding vaping, right? Is there a competitor? Sure, there's a competitor. Yeah, you, you, some of you might know, some of you might not. Uh, Vapor Joe, right? The reason why I don't recommend Vapor Joe to people is that Vapor Joe is a little bit messy. And it's not very, other than that, like, not being very organized, um... It doesn't exactly have the best deals either, as opposed to Got Smoke, where you know um, they're a little bit more accurate as far as like uh, different kinds of deals go. All right. Same thing with Fast Tech. Why am I so hung up about Fast Tech all the time? Fast Tech this, Fast Tech that. Because only in Fast Tech can you go where there's going to be new uh, products that you could just click on over here, and then you could just go by May 24th, May 25th, May 22nd, and then Bam! A whole bunch of new items in your face all the time, whether it's like, you know, different kinds of clones of the atomic clothes. Sometimes, very rarely, there's an authentic item. But the point is that, you know, a whole bunch of stuff out all the time. Look, they already cloned the uh, V3 Flip for, you know, you guys out there who really want to get your hands on one just for the hell of it. Uh, also, the discussion page, so that, you know, you have the insight on, like, what everybody else is thinking. You know, questions that everybody else is, is talking about. Questions that, like, you know, you haven't even uh, came around to, but also would like to know the answers to. So, these are, like, the best tools that are just happen to be out there. Right. Um, so same thing with goes with you company. All right. Why am I so crazy about these people? Because they're like the Toyota of the vape world. You know what I mean? Henry Ford Model T started the concept of cars. Awesome idea. You know what I mean? Eventually, other uh, companies, you know, uh, uh, tagged along Buick, et cetera, et cetera. But then companies, you know, like this, like Toyota, they, they go ahead and then they analyze. They do some market research. What do people want? Let's make it affordable. Let's wrap all that up into one package and then give it to the public. And then, bam, stock goes up immediately. Because they listen to people. They give people what they want. What better way of making money than just giving people what they want? I don't have to educate you. I, don't have to, I just have to listen. People say, hey, can you make me a 22 millimeter device? Bam, they're making 22 millimeter devices. I want it to be polished. I want the Genesis. I want the drippers. I want quad coil. I want dual coil. I want this. They listen to people. You know what I mean? They go around and then they shop other people's stuff. And then they check out like, hey, what are they selling that's really good? Well, can we make a comparable item? Can we make a better item? That's these people. And that's why I'm so insane about them, okay? Um, if you watch my recent vlog... I spoke about, like, you know, getting in contact with these people. I am in contact with these people right now. We're still working out a deal. Uh, but, again, right, my deals that I work with these people are all going to be 
beneficial to my viewers. It's not beneficial to me. It's beneficial to you guys that I go over there and make a deal with them and see what we can do, what we can, we can arrange. Why? Because uh, if you don't make things beneficial to the viewers, you won't have any viewers. And what is the point? You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I refuse to do like, you know, the commercials and the trailers and the donkey shows where like, you know, I'm just going ahead and I like, you know, I review and stuff and uh, whatever. You get the point. Anyways, so <clears throat> new shit, new shit coming out, right? Instead, we're not going to talk so much about fast tech today. All right, because today we're going to be talking about a company called Vapor Company. Okay, Vapor Company has been a while or around for a little bit. Okay, not not too long, but not and uh, they, they've been around doing a little bit of business. So let's get some quick stuff out of the way first. All right, uh, what's so great about this company? Well, <clears throat> every single company is going to be like you know when. Uh, I first started this thing, okay, when I first started to, to, to uh, say, all right, you know what, we're going to start doing products on this channel now, right? But the difference between my channel and everybody else's channel is that, like, people don't find me, I find them, which means I had my eye on Vapor Company for a while because these guys are good. You see what I'm saying? So I reached out to them, and then, you know, back and forth, we finally made some deals, okay? Um, the thing about them is that, like, when... I first made a few purchases with them, okay? They did some extra stuff for me, not knowing who I was, all right? And that's what makes it awesome. See, a lot of places, like, you know, you interview them, and then you say, like, well, what makes your store better than other stores? They give you the same yada, yada, yada all the time, right? Oh, we have great customer service, and our turnaround time and our shipping is... <clears throat> Shut up. That's not good enough, okay? Let me show you what is awesome about these people. I have my hands over here, okay, is the uh, IGO W3. The IGO W3 was released in two versions, okay? The first version had less air holes. The second version was opened up more air holes properly. Um, and then what happened is that uh, I saw, if you go ahead and then check out uh, Vaping with Twisted 420, he has a uh, IGO W3 review, right? He has the older version, right? Which you really should not be reviewing because, you know, you need the updated one. So what happened was that I wrote a letter to Vapor Company right away, and I said, what's going on? Are you selling me Fugazi stuff? What's what's going on? And then uh, they said, no, 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 no. We First of all, we only carry genuine stuff because we deal with UD technology directly. Secondly, okay, if you don't like it, send it back. I'll give you the version two. How awesome is that? I was like, really? Yeah, he's like, yeah, just pack it up and send it back. I'll give you the version two. No problem. So I packed it up, sent it to them, sent it back right away. Within two days, I got the version two. No questions asked. That is fucking customer service. That is above and beyond customer service. You see what I mean? And that's what sets them apart. That's why I had my eye on them for a while. Now, I didn't make a deal with them just yet, like after that either, because we still need to talk about price, right? Price is very important. Now, other than the full UD line, okay, they also carry other stuff, okay? But their full line of the UD products, right? I can go ahead and say with confidence that they are selling it for the lowest price. But at the same time, why even bother with the UD products? Because there are four UD products right now that is a little something for everyone as long as you're into rebuilding and they're fucking kick ass and they are exactly what I showed you earlier with Leonardo saying it is the wave of the future, is the way of the future, is the way of the fucking future, okay? No joke. Uh, Aga T6, okay, the, 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 the Aga T6 and the Aga T7 just released, okay? <clears throat> Let me not talk about this just yet because super complicated stuff. Let me get some uh, stuff that we already know out of the way. Igo W6, why is the Igo W6 all the hype right now? You've seen Rip Trippers do one, you've seen Ruby Roo do one, well, whatever. They're all talking about the Igo W6 because we're done doing Single coils. We put single coils in everything. We do a single coil in our drippers. We do a single coil in our K-Funds. We do the single coil in, you know, all sorts of Genesis devices. Dual coils. Dual coils, as we're, like, we start to get more uh, complicated, you know what I mean? We're either twisting up coils to make tighter coils, and then dual tighter coils, and then we're doing parallel coils, and then, you know what I mean? All sorts of things like that, right? So now we're sick of that. We're bored. We want to move on again. You know what I mean? Always, put, uh, you know, like, uh, raising the bar, right? So... This is the first quad coil, native quad coil device that's easy to build. Sure, there was the IGO W2 that I even made a video about. 
the biggest problem with the IGOW2 is that nobody knows how to fucking put one together because it was so difficult to work with. IGOW3 is still the same thing. IGOW3 a little bit easier, but still not that great to work with. IGOW6, okay, very easy to work with. Uh, I opened this thing up, took a look at it in two seconds, and, you know, I knew what to do right away. Uh, slapped the quad coil in there. Performance was decent. You know, airflow control, everything was, was pretty decent. Until another, uh, a better architecture comes out, right? I'm pretty sure that this thing is going to be the new standard for a while. For a while. Just like how um, the staple three-prong simple atomizer right, was what? I go W, Nimbus, these two fucking items, right? It wasn't until later that the Patriot and blah, 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 whatever, the, these things came out. But when the uh, Patriot first launched, the thing, the thing was like $75. Still, people are doing I go W's, I go W4's, I go T's, things like that, because it's, you know, within the $20 range. Okay, so this thing, same idea. It's $29.95, for a quad core. Why would you spend a ton of money anywhere else? Look, I am all about innovation, okay? And if there's one guy on the top of my list of innovative dudes in the vape world, right, is Mr. Mojo himself, right? Style of Mojo, Korean dude, inventor of the Chi Yu. But what is the problem with him? The problem is that he only releases like three items every two years. He's like, you know, that Hanzo guy from Kill Bill. You can't get your hands on one of his swords. They're awesome swords, you can't get one. That is the exact same problem. But but thanks to, you know, companies like Yude, right? They're able to like mass produce and, you know, come out with uh, things that are carefully market researched, right? So that everybody can be happy of what's going on. I mean, there's no shock that this thing looks like a 22 millimeter device, but it still looks like a IGO W regular on the outside. It's just, you know, stiff, top, Frankensteinish, but they give it that gold ring because they know a lot of people are uh, going to have like, you know, the, uh, the, the, the mixed versions of mechanical mods. Either you would go out of your way, you know what I mean? You and a friend, like, hey, I'm going to go get this, the, the stainless one. You go get the brass one. And then, like, we interchange the parts. Like, a lot of people are doing stuff like that, you know? So, yeah, you could tell. Ute is a company that is paying attention to people and able to supply the masses, okay? It's also another item that I can, you know, with confidence recommend to other people, right, that don't buy the clone. Don't buy the clone on this one because it's only a few dollars more. You know what I mean? If you go ahead and buy, I, I guarantee you, right? If you see this thing, it's going to be like, I don't know, like 10 to $15 for the clone of the IGO W6. You pay the full price, the $30 for the IGO W6, it's going to be worlds better. You know what I mean? Because the other ones that show up, uh, either it's going to be in like um, chrome plated brass, so it's brittle, like different parts in there, because they try to cheap out on certain things, right? Or the uh, the chrome or the polish on the outside, it might peel. Or, uh, what was the last one? The, it, it comes with a ton of machine oil on it, so that like, you know, you have to go through a heavy, heavy cleaning process before you could just go ahead and use these. Uh, I have like, you know, every single U product that is real that I, I just bought, right? I was able to just, you know, like, rinse it once and then just build and go you know what i mean it didn't have a ton of machine oil or whatever like that's in the way that's just disgusting and that you can't vape on um all right so enough about like the the uh, the w6 we know that it's going to be the the industry standard quad quad for like a little while the next one right i go w7 what's the big deal about this one for you guys who are into the origin mod by norbert you know the hungarian thing uh it's a dual coil Airflow, uh, th this one has airflow adjustable and has very, very deep juice wells. If I'm not mistaken, the whole purpose of the very deep juice wells is for what? So that like uh, you can take more hits before having to drip again. So you guys who are really, really hung up about like Origin Dripper, Origin Dripper is awesome. Now there's a way more affordable one. You know what I mean? And if you like the way this one looks, then you should just go with this one. So this is what I'm saying. You came out with four new atomizers, a little bit for everybody, okay? Now, let's talk about uh, Aga T7. Aga T7 is the reply to the K-Fund. Everybody and their mama got a K-Fund, right? So 
what's going on with this one? This one is a dual coil at the bottom, very similar to like the the, the concept of aqua, aqua, but the uh, the coils at the bottom are built crisscross on top of each other. I'm not crazy about it, but performance is rather unique, rather rather different. Uh, does it perform just as well as a K fund does? Um, I think they're missing just one thing. Okay, uh, I think it perf the tank itself. The design and everything, it performs better than a K fund. The airflow is better than a K fund. But the flavor is not better than a K fund. How come? Because they forgot the drip tip. That's that's the whole downfall of the whole thing. If they still provided the drip tip, so what happened was that like uh, I have an Aga T7, I built it, I put it together, taste. It's okay. It's not bad. I decided to rip off the uh, the drip tip off of my uh, my K fund and then put it on that and then take a hit off of it. Wow, much better than a fucking K fund. But it needs that drip tip. That's what's missing on this thing. Uh, so if you go ahead and you know you're gonna go buy like a small board drip tip or you have a K fund knockoff drip tip with the you know with the five ten blah blah whatever uh, and then slap this thing in. It's going to be better than a fucking K fund. It's all about are you willing to go out of your way for that? But it will be. I promise you that because I've had my eye on all this stuff for a while. I've been playing around with it, you know, taking it apart, putting it back together, building it all sorts of ways and stuff like that, make sure it doesn't leak. And then, you know what I mean? I could go ahead and put shit on camera. So, Aka T6, okay? Again, like I said, something for everybody. So, Aka T6, you need to be on that higher level of of tinkering okay if you're good at tinkering then this one is going to be for you and it's going to be a wonderful fucking item like shockingly fucking wonderful right that's why i saved this one for last all right so you remember i did a video once upon a time about the kraken and auto dripping so what happened is that like we just went ahead and built coils right we built coils on the kraken and then we shoved cotton in there right so then like you know tilt let it wick and when it hits, it hits like a dream. And it, 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 it works like a cotton cloud. It works like a dripper, except that it's going to have a tank reservoir in it. Well, this is exactly that, except the whole thing is built upside down so that the coils are at the bottom and it's auto feeding all the fucking time. So therefore, this thing, in my opinion, okay, fuck the 3D, fuck the, like all those like piston or blah, blah, whatever. Those are not auto dripping what systems, you know what I mean? Because even though the Admo Mihani 3D dripper, right, is like, okay, it's auto dripping. No, you still have to pump the son of a bitch and then you get the, the drops to come out. This one, you literally don't do anything except hit the fire button because it's gravity fed upside down Genesis, you know what I mean? So, uh, this item, they recommend that you do hybrid wicks, which is basically uh, you take stainless steel mesh and then you wrap it around silica. I believe you, you would be able to wrap it around cotton as well. Hybrid wicks, have them upside down and then, you know, build your coils. And then it's just constantly, you know what I mean, keeping those wicks wet. And then, you know, uh, as you as you vape on it, you know what I mean, it will re-wick on its own as necessary as needed. You know what I mean? Um Airflow on this thing are ginormous, are gi like gigant, like I I can't find the word for it. They're fucking like this big. They're huge, huge air holes on it, and you you basically inhale like you know the way you breathe on this thing. With a wide bore drip tip, this thing could create massive, massive cuts. If you close off the airflow and then you know use like a smaller drip tip with a smaller bore, or whatever, it's going to produce excellent flavor as well because it's technically a dripper. You know what I mean? This thing is insane. The only oh interesting part about this one, right, is that this is not a 22 millimeter device. This is more like a 24 millimeter device, which is a little hmm to me. But then again, um, if you have like an M16 or whatever, right, then it's really not that big of a deal. If you have like a SS Private, you know, something like like a, a little bit thicker of a mech mod. Also. I don't see anybody, because of the potential of this thing, because of the cloud potential of this thing, I don't really see anybody building this thing um, not sub ohm. You know what I mean? I think you should build this thing around 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4. And it's going to, you know, it's, it's, it's a monster. It's a monster of an atomizer. 
the, uh, because of the way it's designed. I really like to shake the hand of the person who designed this one because he really, really thought out of the box and it was really ballsy, you know what I mean? For the rest of us, we had to intentionally tinker old Genesis devices for it to be a hybrid dripper while this guy just went ahead and you said, you know what, why don't we just flip the whole thing and then make it so that this is the way you build it all the time. Excellent idea, you know what I mean? This is what I mean by like, Again, you as a company watching other people, what's going on? What's going on with the world? What should we do? What should we create? How should we, you know, move on, move on, move on? You see what I'm saying? So this is why I think that you should go with this. Okay, now let's get back to these four items uh, again as far as purchasing them. Okay, I went out of my way to make a deal with these guys and uh, I will show you what's going on. <clears throat> If you go ahead and purchase anything from Vapor Company, right, or the coupon code, use the word Pegasus, and you will receive 8% off, okay? I'll uh, show you something very interesting here, over here. If you go to discount codes on gotsmoke.com, right? Uh, sorry, did I, did I click this? Here we go. Sorry about that. Um, all the way down, okay, page three over here. All right, you will notice that Vapor Company is actually a part of the Got Smoke family over here. Okay, so they're they're a, a, a trusted site. Uh, however, when you use the uh, the, uh, the the Vapor Company uh, coupon over here, where is it? You see Vapor Company, right? Uh, the coupon is five percent off. My coupon is eight percent off. So I really went out of my way to you know what I mean, fight one for. Uh, the subscribers out there so <clears throat> go with this okay I guarantee you it's going to be cheaper than anywhere else you find it okay and I'll prove it to you guys right now for instance right if we went to uh, Vapor Joe's over here I go WS6 W alright so uh, <laughs> we click on this over here and then it's going to give us how many results Okay, one result, and the result is thirty-two, thirty-nine. Okay, if you went to Vapor Company to buy anything, all right, Vapor Company, it tells you right here. Okay, free shipping on all orders. So, not only is it not going to be thirty-two, thirty-nine. Okay, it's going to be twenty-nine, ninety-nine, and then you're going to get the eight percent discount, and the shipping is going to be free. Okay, uh, if I went over here and then just put in like I go W6 again in Google, the first thing that's going to happen is that we're going to get the uh, Rip Tripper uh, video, right? And uh, what does Rip do? Rip over here, he suggests people to go to ViperVape.com. So let's go to ViperVape.com and see what's going on. <clears throat> How much you want, ViperVape? Sorry, a little bit slow here. Okay, so we're on Viper Vape right here, and then we're just gonna go ahead and do I go W6, right? And then Viper Vape is asking for how much. There's gonna be $29.99, but no coupon, right? So you're gonna have to pay the full price of whatever it is. And then it says over here, shipping is calculated at checkout. So you're gonna be paying $29.99 plus the shipping, plus possible tax or anything like that, while on you know Vapor Company. Right, I got you guys the discount so that you're gonna have free shipping plus the highest discount possible. Exactly what I promised you on my vlog. You see what I'm saying? Uh, there's a whole bunch of other things like regarding like I go. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna let you guys, whoever, whichever one of you is skeptical, go ahead and do the shopping. You will find Aga T7 for much more expensive everywhere else. Okay, vapor company. Not only, like I told you, you know what I mean? They take care of you in the sense of like, uh, you know, if you receive version one and you want version two, they took care of me for that. So customer service, you know, top notch. Uh, turnaround time, I receive all my stuff within two days. But that's because, you know, I live within the same state as them. But the discount and the availability of all the, you know, proper youth stuff is all here, okay? And there's a little bit of something for everybody. Out of these four atomizers, I'm sure everybody's going to want at least one of them. You know what I mean? Because of 
the unique things that they they do. If you're a collector, I'm pretty sure you're going to want all of them. Uh, we will go ahead and do a video, okay? And I will briefly go over, like, all of them and what they do and dissect it a little bit. And then I will break down into further videos of how to build each and every single one for people to continue to click on as they need. You know what I mean? Because I know a lot of you who are also very good at building stuff. You really don't need to see how it's built because you already know. So, you know what I mean? I'll chop it up so that like you're able to skip that part. Okay. So enough about Vapor Company. Okay. We're, we're already established that they're awesome. And if you're going to get anything, you'd get it from them because if you get it on fast tech, you're going to get, end up getting some bullshit. It's better to just pay a few dollars more because you is not that expensive of items. And yet they are quality things. Uh, like I said before, okay. Anytime you want to check out if an item is like a piece of junk or something like that, you got to test the, uh, the, the positive pin in the middle. Okay. You got to push at it or whatever. If, the pin recesses just by pushing it with your finger, I think is a piece of shit right away. I've tested with all of the items that you has recently released and nothing recesses anymore. Unlike the original Agati 3, it had uh, some recessing issues, uh, but I showed another video on how to fix that. But as far as everything else new that, that came in, it no longer does this anymore. Okay, so let's move on to uh, talking about the Hades, a lot of you are fucking driving me crazy about the Hades, okay? And I'm trying to protect you people. I'm really trying to protect my family here, okay? Don't jump on the Hades so quickly as of yet, yeah, okay? There are certain things that's really fucking nudging people in that direction, and I see it. I see it. I will talk about it right now. For instance, here we go, 28.5 millimeter version. Okay, what's going on in here? A lot of stuff is being released in 28.5 millimeters. If you go ahead and check out on eBay, there is the TOBH Atomizer at 28.5 millimeters. A lot of people are, are going to have no idea what I'm talking about. Some of you are going to be like, what? I'm going to go get one right now. Easy, easy. Okay, people, not yet. The issue is this. Okay, let me just go over real quick for some of the folks at home who have no idea what the fuck we're talking about. The Hades mod, right? The Hades mod, the big nasty, are the two new mechanical items right now that is all the craze because they use 26650 batteries, okay? <clears throat> this is the, Here we go. Here's the Hades mod right here, right? Looks nice. Looks nice. Comes in black. Comes in chrome. Comes in, like, all sorts of finishes and stuff. People particularly like the, you know, logo at the bottom. And what happens is that right here. This top cap, okay, the top cap is 28.5 millimeters. So what happens is that if you type in 28.5 millimeter, boom, you're going to get like some, something like this, like like the still air. And then like uh, earlier, I showed you that they even came out with a Hades uh, uh, atomizer, which is your basic three prong, okay? It's a three prong. Let's, let's open it up. See, there you go. It's a three prong, and then you have like your airflow control over here, and uh, and that's it. That's that's all there is to it. But I'm still telling people, hold off on it. Hold off. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Why? Because number one, <clears throat> I'm gonna let the kick thing go. Okay. Yeah, it's a 26650 mod, and you would need a special ring in order to use a kick. Blah blah blah. Or whatever. Right. However, if you make a dripper deck 28.5 millimeter. It's going to be a huge dripper deck. That's a big playground. You know what I mean? We're talking about like, you know, this thing is a skate, a full skate park size. So that means that we could go ahead and put in much bigger, thicker, heavier duty uh, posts than this so that we could drill out much bigger, thicker, you know what I mean? Uh, holes inside, and then also put in bigger, thicker, you know, more conductive screws, right? So if you're able to do that, now we're talking about like some serious engines that we could install into the, these things. We could use 24 gauge canthals, uh, 22 gauge canthals, 20 gauge canthals, you know, 18s, and, and then do do like quad coils, do twisted in here, do like all, all, sor all sorts of like parallel uh, uh, setups inside because we have the room to do it. We could go even bigger and, uh, than, 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 than your average macro coil, you know what I mean? We could get really large drill bits and then just start wrapping them around. And then basically instead of like, you know, 
shoving strips of cotton in there, we could basically shove the whole goddamn cotton ball in there. You know what I mean? It's going to be, eventually it's going to get so big. But what is the problem with these things? The problem is that you still cannot power them properly, okay? Look, I'll prove it to you guys. The the only battery right now of 26650 mod, right, is the MNKE battery, okay? But... Time out on the MNKE battery. MNKE once upon a time was a very nice battery, but the problem is that MNKE is a mm, very commonly uh, repackaged clone China brand now. You know what I mean? So what happened? What happened is that like it start. It, it was released in. Um, it was released in 35 amp, 3,500 milliamps. It was released in 30 amp. 20 amp continuous 4,000 milliamps. It was released in like 4,500 with 60 amp pulse, and then that's all the information. You, you see what I'm saying? The problem is that like the numbers are going up and down, up and down. Nobody really knows which IMR in there. You, you know what I mean? You can't just say like a battery is IMR. Be like, okay, fine, it's lithium manganese rechargeable. You can't just say that, okay? Because it comes in like all sorts of different kinds of IMR chemistry, IMR1, IMR2, IMR3. And that's what makes one better than the next. Like, for instance, right, uh, how do you explain VTC3, VTC4, VTC5? VTC3 batteries are 30 amps at 1600 milliamp hours, right? VTC4s is the same fucking 30 amps at 21. And then VTC5s is the same 30 amp batteries at 26. How do you explain that? It's because the chemistry improves. You see what I'm saying? So that like it can hold more milliamps without, you know what I mean, breaking down the uh, the, the amperage that that the, the continuous amperage that that it could it could put out. So, my people, do not jump on this yet because there is no it, it, there's yet to be a confirmed 26. 650 battery okay if sony comes out with this 26 650 battery at 50 amps at 5000 you know what i mean by all means people go get it you know what i mean but it's not here yet okay so just chill back off on it for now okay it's great that the atomizer but these but these atomizers they're out to get you to buy the, the you know what i mean the mech mods to get you to buy the batteries but, but but we need all three of them in order to work good. You know what I mean? We can't just go ahead and then, you know, uh, walk around with the Hades, but, you know, you have a 22 millimeter um, uh, Patriot on it, right? It's too small on top of a huge mod. That doesn't make any sense. We're not going to flip it around either, like, you know, and put 28 millimeter devices on like a regular Nemesis either, right? And then finally, we need the proper battery to power everything uh, so that it makes sense. If you're going to have... Something like this, the Still Air 28.5 millimeter device. You have so much playground. You have so much room. You guys will easily, easily, you know what I mean, build stuff down to 0 0.12, 0 0.09, 0 0.08. You'll easily build very dangerous, very hot stuff like that. And there's nothing wrong with it as long as you have the battery that can hold that kind of a charge. You see what I'm saying? So when I say, you know, the batteries. It's not going to power it properly. By properly, I mean safely. So, guys, stay clear of that, okay? So, that's it for this episode of uh, Vape Shopping with Peg. And uh, I will release <clears throat> a couple of uh, small mini episodes about the uh, new Ude stuff that has come out. I have all four of the atomizers over here. We'll briefly cover over it, and then we'll briefly go over, like, you know, what's the big hype, what's so great about it. And you guys already know where to go get them, okay? So until next time, guys, hope you take something with you and uh, take care.